Ways to save energy. Way number one. Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Sherman and I'm here to talk to you about energy conservation. Okay, so here we have a microwave and a oven. So this is by Samsung and this is a good one. Okay, so let's say you were wanted to make something and you wanted to cook it. So you would go to this obviously, but this needs preheating. You only need preheating if you actually really need it. So pretty much, if I wanted to cook a banana, I would go to here because it doesn't need preheating. Preheating is like wasting energy if you don't really need preheating. So you just go to this. Let's do it. Three minutes later. Okay guys, so my banana is done. And so it's perfectly cooked. I couldn't, I could have done it with the oven, but I chose not to, to save energy. No preheating. See, it's good. Way number two. Everyone, so here's another example of energy conservation. So come in here. So, right here is my room. And as you can see, the lights are on. And I'm not even using the room, so turning it off. Now, if you go in here, lights turned off in here. I mean, turn on. So, turn that off too, because no one's in there. So that's another way of saving energy. Way number three. As you see, the AC is running. So what you gotta make sure is all the windows are closed, okay? All the windows are closed. This is because if your windows are open, all of the energy that's um, being used to make that air is getting sucked in outside so you can't even use it. So this is a good way to keep all your AC inside without wasting any of the energy. So there's another way. Rain break! Way number four. So you know when you wash your hands, all the water doesn't just go on your hands. It goes down the sink too. And that's wasting water and energy. So when, when you wash your hands, let a bowl go under it so it catches all the other water. Once you're done washing your hands, you can use this water to feed your animals or water plants or anything you decide to use it for. This is a good way to save energy and water. Way number five. Okay, so this is another way to save energy. So, see, I have a coffee machine right here and you see the plug, it's plugged in, but no one's making coffee. So that's a waste of energy. If you just plug, unplug your appliances when you're not using them, and when you're using them, you can just plug them right back in. So that's a good way to save energy. Way number six. So here's another way to save energy and water. So pretty much, let's say you're collecting laundry, and you fill it only halfway, and you put it in, start the uh, washer, and it will run. That uses a bunch of water and energy. And then you go another time and you use the same amount, halfway filled with the basket and you put another load. That's twice as many um, amount of water and energy than you have to use. You could just fill the basket all the way, even more like almost spilling out of the basket so you don't waste it as many times. So 